Hello everyone, welcome back to the forge. Now today we're going to start work on this chopper right here. And we're going to be forging it out of this big old chunk of rebar my brother brought me. So let's get the forge lit and get it up the temperature and let's get to work. See what we end up with. Alright, now that we've got the rebar and the forge, I'm going to talk about this design a little bit. I'm going to be going with an 11 and 3 quarter inch blade with a faux uh, harpoon point on top. It's going to have a little bit of a belly, a little bit of recurve action going on there. I'm going to forge in an integral guard here. We're going to go with G10 for the handle scale material, uh, black G10. And we're going to go with a uh, lanyard hole here at the end of the handle. Uh, the overall length of this should end up being in the ballpark of 17 and a half inches or so. Uh, a lot of people ask why rebar. Well, like I said, my brother gave it to me. Uh, not all rebar is is equal. That's why there's different grades of rebar. Uh, the common misconception is rebar is just a bunch of melted together junk. There's different types of rebar. Uh, get on Google and look it up. It's graded differently. This is a grade 60 rebar, the same kind of rebar I use on the Katana build. According to the specs on that steel it was in the ballpark of is it's classified as a rail steel in the ballpark of a 1060 uh, so not the greatest steel in the world but not terrible ought to make a pretty good beater knife for me to use around just play around with uh, plus i get to practice rebar is a great thing to practice with uh, with that being said i'm fixing to fire up the press uh, that ought to be about the temperature and then we'll get to flattening this out get to working on it After all of that, we broke that down into a bar that's a little easier to handle than that big old piece of steel. So I'm going to let this cool down and then we can get on forging this blade out.
light everybody this is where we're at so far we've got our rough forging our rough profile forged in uh, good stopping point for today uh, the next video we'll get all this cleaned up we got a little bit of critiquing to here to do on some of our lines uh, clean our bevels up some I'll do all that before the next video and then in the next video we'll get to grinding this profile clean get our handle pin holes drilled in we'll get this sucker uh, heat treated and put the G10 handle scales on get them textured and should be able to get it all wrapped up and chop some stuff with it see how it turns out well, I appreciate you for joining me for this video if you would hit that subscribe button down below remember to ring the notification bell to be notified of our newest content as it posts uh, I'll catch you on the next one y'all have a good one I appreciate you bye bye